Hey, this is Pete's Dude Man, and uh, this stream is uh, in dedication to uh, Mr. Iwata, uh, who recently passed away. So we're going to be playing uh, the games that he worked the most on. This uh, is uh, Balloon Fight. I played this game a lot when I was a kid, so let's go into it. This is actually my third attempt at streaming, because my capture card is having lots of issues today. So hopefully we're all working, and we'll just keep working now. We're just pretending to start over so everyone's saying hi again. Hi, Hot Feet! Hey there, Felicia fan. Tony. Whatever. All those, all of the above. Bam. Hey, Smash Masters here. Hey, Ridley Craid. Er. Uh, no, we're, we're just pretending that this is the beginning of the stream, even though it actually isn't. This is my third time trying this. I actually, guys, uh, for those of you who are on the chat right now, I just... Like, I think was playing for like 10 minutes, thinking the stream was working. And then I was like, was asking questions and stuff, and no one was responding. And people just kept talking about how the capture card wasn't working. And I'm like, uh oh, could no one hear what I'm saying? And then, like, my capture card was telling me that I was streaming, even though I actually wasn't. So I just, I reset the whole thing. Oh, I'm in a bad position. Uh, uh. Oh, man. Oh, oh. Yeah. 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 Take that. Um, so, I was saying earlier, I might do Balloon Trip eventually, but this is my favorite mode in Balloon Fight. Um, and so I'm probably gonna do this for a while. Okay, how long is this stream actually now? Um, so instead of starting at 1.30 like originally planned, it's it's starting at 2.15, we're gonna say officially. Uh, all the glitch out times don't count. <laughs> they don't count as part of the stream. I'm at least gonna go for a couple hours, I got a couple... Uh, games developed by Iwata that I'm planning on doing, namely this and NES Open Golf Tournament. So we'll do this for a while, we'll try out Balloon Trip, and then we'll do NES Open Golf Tournament later. Oh cool, we have two Tonys on chat. Great. Tony's, Tony's a really cool name. I gotta kick that guy before he gets up. Hey, you. Kick. 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 Yeah! Alright. Oh, 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 I messed that one up. Gotcha. Okay, we gotta be careful. We die like at, at these areas a lot. Huh? Doodly 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 doo. Oh my gosh, this is just reminding me of the, uh, in the new Smash Brothers game, the the Balloon Fight remix song that they have there, man, that is so good. Pick it up, up! Watch out for lightning that goes upward. Does lightning actually do that? Could, are there bolts of lightning that go up from the cloud into the sky? Do you know, Rosie? What? Are there bolts of lightning from lightning clouds, right? That instead of going downward, the bolts shoot upward into the sky. I have no idea. Oh. Right, but I want to know- Wait, what happened? I thought I still had both my balloons! Do you want me to check it out? No, I don't care. You can if you want to. Aren't you curious now? Cause that's what these clouds do. Sometimes. They just- they try to deliberately shoot lightning at me, even if I'm above them. How am I above clouds? I, I have balloons. Err, stomp! Have you seen the fan art made as a tribute to Iwata? I've seen tons of fan art and fan comics as tribute to Iwata. They're all so good. It's great to see, you know, how much people cared about this, you know? That's always nice to see. It's one of the things, you know, there's so many things we see on the internet these days where it's like, oh, no hoop for humanity, and yeah, jokes about that. It's great to see, you know, even though this is a very sad occasion, of course, it's great to see times where you see how much people care about something. So, and you know, I, it's very sad that Mr. Iwata passed away, of course. That's why I'm doing this in the first place, is because Mr. Iwata passed away, and I'm like, oh, I should do something, because this was a, a guy that I did, like, you know... I don't know if I want to say look up to because I never met him, but a, a guy that I greatly respected, I guess would be the right word, um, and bought a lot of uh, products that uh, he produced. Uh, but um, I guess what I'm trying to say is I, I want to try to take it in, um, you know, the good lights, just because I'm a natural optimist. I do that for anything. Um, 
Uh, Mr. Owada will be greatly missed. He died way too young. He had way more he could have done for uh, the video gaming world. Um, his death is a big shock to everybody, and uh, he will be greatly missed. And uh, I enjoy all the work that he did very much. And that's what we're doing today, is enjoying the work he did. I am having a hell of a time here with Balloon Fight. I forgot how fun this game was. I haven't played it for like 10 years. Yeah! Can we make like a like a new Balloon Fight game? How come there's none of those? And like a lot of the ones that are like like the Nintendo Land, they do a balloon trip, but not one like this. Oh, your balloons don't recover between rounds. I thought they did. Oh, my bad. Is there any way to get a balloon back? Can I like steal it from these dudes? Does it make my controlling harder? Ka! Ah! No! Stop! Stop it! Oh, he's one of the. I can never tell the pink and the orange ones apart. It's really hard. I guess you can just kind of tell by the AI, because this orange guy is relentless. The pink ones are weakest, followed by green, followed by orange are the toughest guys. Oh, nice, we got them all that time. They recover when you do the bonus round? Oh, thanks. Good to know. Yes! Oh! Tri three for three. Bam. I saw a couple people that I follow on YouTube, like, play this game as tribute to. They're just kind of like, oh, I just wanted to play Balloon Fight, they did some Balloon Fight. But, like, oh, their videos were, like, seven to ten minutes long. Man, no. We're doing- we're making a big stream out of this. And then we're also going to play golf. Because this game is so much fun. Ugh. Bam. There's a lot of comments, and it's hard, you know, it's even harder than it with Splatoon for me to read the comments while playing this game. Rosie, maybe you could read the comments to me? I know. Okay, are you telling me no? That's okay, I'll get into them later. That's okay, you're doing your own thing. I, I'm, I, I don't need to drag you into absolutely everything I do for my sake. Oh, I forgot about that. Not that I'm not decent at it, it's just, it's da -da, a psychological da -da. struggle for me. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. Yes! Come on! I think we can get them all if we just keep going like this. Uh, 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 oh! Uh, yes! Yes! Alright, let me, let me get to a comment here. Oh, uh, the one, I, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. this is cool. For me, he was one of my greatest inspirations, was basically the man that uh, helped me get me interested in video game design. That makes sense, yeah. Um, he was always so, um, in everything he did, so enthusiastic about it. Like, you know, uh, one of the things that I always think is really great is, you know, how much he took into stride, um, you know, things that people liked. He liked, you know, when people liked things. What I mean is, like, one example that comes to the top of my head is when he did, you know, the whole directly to you thing, that's just what he was doing. He's like, I just, I'm bringing this to directly to you. But people loved it, you know, because they thought it was funny. But because of that, that just became the joke. And he wasn't like offended that people online were like, oh, they're making fun of the way I gesture. No, he was like, oh, that is pretty funny. I'll do more of that because people like it. He was that kind of guy that just had fun with everything he did. And I think that was one of the reasons people like him so much. That's one of the things I really liked about him. Um. So, yeah. Bam. Uh, uh. Oh, man, I can't believe we survived that. 
I seriously thought it was an April Fool's joke at first when I heard it. Yeah, it is hard to believe, isn't it? I know, it's just anytime, you know, there's something like that that's just so sudden. It's like, how did this even happen? Because I, like I was saying earlier, we knew, you know, that Iwata, you know, wasn't in perfect health, you know, that he did have this uh, problem. But, I mean, as far as I knew, and as, uh, from the same gist I'm getting from other people, um, it was treated and, you know, it, it was, you know, fine. I mean, not good, but fine. And the fact that he died from it is just so sudden and so uh, unexpected. So, yeah, no, it, it, it hasn't, you know fully sunk in yet. Um, it's only, at the time I'm recording this right now, that I'm doing this live stream, because this isn't going to come up into YouTube for a couple days, so if you're watching from YouTube, uh, the time I'm recording this right now is uh, the day after. God damn it, I can't believe I died. I'm on my last life now. There was just too much shit there. I couldn't deal with it. I can't deal with this shit. Oh, we're, wow, we're on the third. Oh, man, if I just survived, then we would have gone to this balloon stage. Dang. Da, 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 da. I'll try to get some more comments here, guys. Like I said, this is just this kind of game, man. It just keeps going and going and going and going. It's hard for me to uh, look up at the comments because I'll miss something. Oh, well, I'm not going to get them all, so I'll just go fall into this. Fall into this. There's a big tower of them. Okay. Oh, wow. I almost got them all after all. Um. Do, 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 do. Oh, I didn't realize we're on the next stage. I didn't get to any comments. Ah! Erp. Bam. Come on, come on. Uh-oh. That was bad. Mmm. Man, there are all these flippers. Flipper, flipper. Oh, man, we've won this stage. Unless this lightning screws us over. Erp, kick. I'm still waiting for Xbox to say something. They did already. Microsoft made an official statement about Satoru Iwata, um, and they were like, oh, you know, he inspired a lot of us, and it's really sad that this happened. Um, so no, they, they've released an official statement, and most video game companies at this point have released an official statement. I know Ubisoft has, Capcom has, PlayStation has, um, that's all the ones I'm aware of right now. I don't know if Konami has or not, or who else. Uh, PETA actually recently released a statement, um, expressing their condolences. Um... PETA, yeah. Like the PETA? Yes. Huh. Well, I lost. I'm gonna keep trying. Uh. Derp. Come on. Eh. Bum, ba little little. Oh, now you guys go into the drink. To get eaten by a fish or just drown. I spent all day drawing Earthbound, Kirby, Pokemon, and other Nintendo things. Yeah. You know, I was really thinking about what I should do. I was originally thinking, it's like, oh, maybe I could do a big video tribute or something. I felt like I should do something because it's like, okay, well, I mean, everything I do, you know, in my free time is pretty much Nintendo related. If not Nintendo video game related, but almost everything I do is Nintendo related. So I was like, I should do something, or at least acknowledge this publicly in some way. And so I, I was thinking about doing a video, I was thinking about doing this or that, and then I was like, you know, I was already planning on streaming today, so why don't I just stream um, Iwata games? So here I am doing Balloon Fight. Um, this is what I've decided to do um, in honor of Satoru Iwata. Uh, hey there, Max Carva. I hope I'm reading your name right. Bum ba da da. You know the the thing that really got me, um, the fan made thing that really got me, where it's like some people are talking about like the pictures or the different comics or stuff that they've seen that just really made them like oh get emotional about it. For me. It was Brawl in the Family. If you have you if you've ever read Brawl in the Family, my gosh, it is a long running, really hilarious, uh, you know, comic about the characters from Super Smash Brothers Brawl. But it ended last October. He released the final chapter uh, today, or maybe it was yesterday. He released one more chapter in honor of Iwata after all these months. It was just that for me. It was like, oh my gosh, like I can't, 
this that, that you know and you know I think that was one of the things that was like I should do something too like everybody's doing something you know to show their appreciation for what this guy did and so this is what I'm doing PETA is in the people who complain about Mario's Tanuki suit? Yes. They expressed their condolences and said, you know, um, a lot of their employees, you know, were inspired by Nintendo, right? I mean, they did do, you know, parodies of Super Mario Brothers and Pokemon, but they did, even though they were parodies, you, you know, that were, you know, uh, up against the animal stuff, they were very well done. They actually looked like real Pokemon and Mario games, and that's because they have, you know, employees... And, you know, uh, or even higher than just employees, you know, administrators who um, grew up with Nintendo. And also they expressed their fondness for uh, Nintendogs. So there's that too. I mean, I don't think there is a better, more animal-friendly game than Nintendogs. Pokemon. Pokemon? No, just Pokemon kidding. is one JK. that they made that. JK. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was making a joke. I know, I know. I wasn't being serious. But I already mentioned Pokemon. Uh, no, they, they, they did specifically point out how fond of Nintendogs they were. I, I thought that was kind of funny and cute. Besides, I mean, even if they did have... I don't know, kind of a relationship that made people make fun of. It's like, oh yeah, they have this big problem with Mario wearing Tanuki suits and stuff like that. Y you gotta admit, that means that they probably interacted a lot. A lot of times, the water probably had to be able to respond to them, so, you know. Um, are you going to play Balloon Fight thing on Nintendo Land? I could. What about Animal Crossing? You guys want me to do Animal Crossing? I mean, I know Iwata did some stuff with Animal Crossing. If, um, if it's Animal Crossing, the only thing I have that we could potentially do is I could start up, like, a, uh, I could start up a, uh, a, uh, ch -ch 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 -ch, a town on, um, uh, oh, what's the, the one for Wii? City Folk. That's the only one I still own, um, is, is City Folk. So, I could stream City Folk if you guys want me to. That was something I was planning on doing in, like, way in the future. But I, I could play some Animal Crossing City Folk. I, I, I definitely want to do the Balloon Fight and the NES Open Golf Tournament stuff first, because those are games that, like... You know, Iwata directly, like, you know, fully programmed. So I definitely want to do those. But if there's more time after that and we still want to keep going, I could do Animal Crossing. Play Smash Brothers? I could play Smash Brothers. He did help out a lot, especially with the N64 Smash Brothers. And I do have the N64 Smash Brothers. No, I, I put a bunch of research today into like, oh, what what can I do? You know, what, what game should I be playing to honor Iwata? And I was like, okay, well, you know, Balloon Fight and NES Open Golf are the ones he like really did. And then he helped a lot with Kirby. The first two gens of Pokemon he helped out a lot with. The first Super Smash Brothers, uh, Animal Crossing, yeah. Um, if you guys have got some other ideas... Uh, do, 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 do. So, We're doing pretty good this run this time. What's up, Rosie? So, I don't know which address I used to register my voting in the state we used to live in. Uh, oh, right, if it was your Pullman address or your... You probably did it for your Pullman one. I think I did. I'm asking my mom if she's gone any, like... I don't know if we can get that last one. Oh, I should have gotten it first. I, maybe I popped it up top? I can't really tell. Yeah, I did. Related mail. Perfect super bonus. In my name, you know? Right, just right. To, just to see if it was that address or the other one. I don't think it was the other Do you know our... our... Our old address from Pullman? Yeah. Oh, I don't remember it. Why don't you text Taylor? He hasn't replied to me the last couple of times I've texted him, so I'm not sure. Ridley confirmed for Smash, what? I only briefly looked at the chat, I gotta... When I can, I'll, I'll look at more comments. 
Wait, when did my balloon pop? Does the flip there pop your balloons? I don't remember that. Or maybe I get hit when I wasn't... I don't know. Maybe I looked away for a second. I'm not sure. Whatever, this guy's dead anyway. Oh! Oh! Gotta be careful. Bam! Oh my god, lightning was about to strike right at us. Uh, kick. I think I can kick this guy too. Nope. Well, I still got him though. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, this is bad. Oh shoot, I was trying to escape. Couldn't get it in time. Oh, we got a new high score though. Uh. Bum. Ba dum. Ba da 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 da. Ah shoot, that was bad. Bum, 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 ba da. Da -da -da -da. Did you have to do that when you registered the vote? Um, when I registered to vote here? Yeah. No. I'm not going to worry about it then. I think it's a serious trouble if I know. Right. Oh, this is going really well, actually. Uh, let's get it. Come on. Let's not mess this up now. I think it'd be best if I went over here, looped around here. Oh, I missed one. Dang, that was close. Okay. If Sakurai ever adds real people to Smash, you want it to be the first. Uh, wait, I got it, Pokemon Stadium. Yes, he did such great work on Pokemon Stadium. Unfortunately, I don't have that game anymore. Um, because, you know, it's never been re-released on any virtual consoles, so I don't actually have a Nintendo 64, and so since it's never been released on virtual consoles, I don't have access to that game. Otherwise, I would love to do Pokemon Stadium. I would have done Pokemon Stadium a long time ago if I had the ability to. I played the hell out of that game as a kid. Um, but, you know, when I was a kid, and, you know, I'm living off of allowance, I don't have my own job, the only way for me to buy a GameCube was to sell my N64, so... Even though to this day I regret giving up my N64, at the time it still made the most sense because it was the only way for me to get a GameCube. Um, so I'd love to do Pokemon Stadium, but I cannot. Not yet anyway. I mean, if I ever go out and buy an old N64, which I've thought about doing many times, but you know, since I, do, I don't make any money from the YouTube channel, all the stuff for, all the money that I make at work pretty much goes to buy any new video games that come out, since that's not as expensive as, you know, rebuilding my N64 collection I used to have as a kid, which I'd love to do someday. But, um, besides that, it's, you know, most of my money goes to bills and stuff, which we're only kind of barely keeping up with. You know, adult things. Yeah, I wish we didn't have those. Yeah, plus, I'll be making more money next year, so... Exactly. And I'll be building up to maybe getting a better job in the next five years. Yeah, you could wind up getting a job that pays better than mine. It depends on how lucky I get. It depends on how lucky you get, but it's not like teaching jobs pay spectacularly in the first place. Alright. But it's enough to keep your family afloat. Yeah. I've cut out. You're right, the stream's dying again. I can't check it right now, I gotta print something. Alright, well, I guess I'm just gonna keep going and I hope my thing starts working again. Alright, looks like it should be back to normal, guys. Is it back to normal? Unfortunately, I won't have any way of knowing until I'm done with this stage, at least, then I can only kind of barely glimpse before the next stage comes up. Come on. Er oh no! How did that happen? Well, I guess I have a little more time to check at it. Check it out now. It looks like it's running fine again. Stream looks fine to you. Okay. Um, it's normal again. Okay, I thought so. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take at least one more crack at at at, at the main game because I'm still into it. But oh, I feel bad after getting that far and then losing. Uh, that, I think that's I think I, I don't think I've ever got that far when I was a kid. I never stopped working for you? Okay, I was actually having trouble on my end for a minute there, but I, now I'm not. Oh, God, it's Norton Security. It thinks my computer's idle right now, so it's trying to perform tasks while I'm streaming. Stop it. Stop it, Norton. No one, no one likes you except for me when you're doing good things. Then I kind of like you. But you tried to delete my Mugen game. 
And for that, I won't forgive you. Even if I keep you. This is a bad start, though. We're not doing so well. We're gonna do at least one more attempt after this. Uh, yeah. There's also Gold Silver. I know, no. He helped out on, like, the, the first two generations of Pokemon a lot. Especially with Gold and Silver, though, too. Um, ah, oh, crap. That was awful. What? Oh, I thought you were about to say ants. I wouldn't sound as excited if it were ants. Oh, yeah, you would have screamed first. I'd be like, fuck you, ants. Oh, those are the stamps I was looking for months ago. Yeah. We, we, we have so many stamps. stamps. I keep buying new stamp books because I keep losing them. I'm like, where's the stamps? I gotta send this letter, and then I can never find them. And then, and as I just buy more, now we just have like four un incomplete like stamp books. We got like a huge roll of stamps that are somewhere in our apartment that we lost that I've been using ever since college. Yeah, and I've got like four books, maybe only three books, but still a lot. New stamps on the dance floor. Uh. I would love to see Balloon Fighter in Smash. It seems appropriate and a good tribute to him. Um, Balloon Fighter in Smash? Oh, uh, yeah. I've always thought Balloon Fighter in Smash would be good. He, I, he's one of those retro characters that makes sense. You know, like, uh, you know, I mean, if they have Ice Climbers, why the hell don't they have Balloon Fighter? You know, that's my attitude. But um, now they've made Balloon Fighter kind of an up B to the villagers. Now it's kind of like, well, I think if they were going to, they should... Ah, shoot. That was awful. We're gonna do at least one more attempt, because that was just terrible. They should at least, I think, change Villagers up B if they do decide to uh, have a Balloon Fighter in Smash at some point. Can we throw away these phone books? We don't use phone books. Use phone books no one uses phone books. Yeah, for some reason my work still prints phone books. Because some people actually do use phone books. Yeah, our community is old enough that... That's still... It's still relevant? It. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I gotta get that guy on the ground before he starts recovering. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah! That went really well. Oh my gosh, yes! Oh, that was perfect. That's how it's done. All right. Bum, ba -da -da, ba -da -da, ba -da -da. You know, I, I would think that, I don't know, I mean, Sakurai and Iwata had a really great relationship with, you know, how much he helped with the Kirby series and, you know, with HAL as a company altogether, so who knows, maybe Sakurai will do something related to that because of that. I don't know. That'd be cool. My computer is not idle. Stop it, Norton. What would the villagers' new up special be? That becomes the new question then, huh? Because, I mean, there's no reason it has to be a Balloon Fighter reference. Like, what's the correlation? Just because Balloon Fighter was one of the NES games you could get in the GameCube Animal Crossing? Because there's balloons in uh, Animal Crossing games that carry around presents? Balloons are awesome, that's why. I mean, how come... How, how, about, how about the Lloyd Rocket it becomes this up B and we give him a new side B? That'd work, too. Um, let's see here. A new up B for the villager. Um, instead, I mean, I guess it's not that big of a deal if they share an up B. I mean, after all, we have full-on clone characters, so what's, what's wrong with, like, two people who use balloons as a recovery? Just balloon fighter, like, his whole fighting style could be balloon-based. I actually, because, you know, um, I mean, I used to solely do Super Smash Brothers related stuff. Um, before I was doing Let's Plays and things like that, so I did draft up ideas for a Balloon Fighter moveset. It was pretty basic. I'm trying to remember, the way I had it was, um, so basically, mechanic-wise, he ordinarily has two jumps, just like everybody. However, um, his B attack, or maybe it was his down B, one of the two, was, um, you know, pumping up a balloon like the enemies do. And you could have up to two balloons uh, pumped up if you spent the time to pump up your two balloons. Um, after that, uh... Oh, is that it? Wow, the bow sticks are really fast. 
Then what would happen is for each balloon he had, he had an extra jump. So if you had both balloons, you could get in four jumps. Uh, the balloons would pop when they were attacked enough. Um, they wouldn't just die in one hit like they do in this game, but it was. But they also had other uses. Um, I believe his neutral B attack, I made balloon burst, where he intentionally makes a balloon pop and it makes a little explosion that uh, hurts everybody around him. And then his up B was like balloon ascent, which you, the more balloons you had, the higher you went. And um, but after using it, one of your balloons would pop. Um, and I, I don't remember what I did for his side B. I think I incorporated the flipper somehow. Like, a flipper appears and he, like, projects forward. And if you're flying while you're doing it, he kind of just goes all around. I don't remember exactly at that point. Damn, this guy's got such a vantage point on me. He's like, I gotta avoid the lightning and the flipper and stuff. So that was that was a bit of what my Balloon Fighter moveset was like. I think his thunder, his thunder smash, his final smash, I had been like a bunch of clouds appear that would start like shooting lightning at opponents. And besides that, he could just continue to fight like normal, kind of like, you know, when Pit would, you know, summon the Centurions, they fly around, he just summoned a bunch of clouds that would start shooting lightning at people while he was still freely able to do whatever he felt like. I'm pretty sure that was my move set for Balloon Fighter. Do 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 do. Uh. Uh. Gotta be careful. Uh. Good. Good. Gotta be reckless. <laughs> gotta go fast. Oh come on! Let's just gotta get that guy. Ah. Uh. Yes. Uh oh. Uh oh Oh! Come on, yes! There we go! Come here, you! Come here! Come here! Gah! Alright, perfect. We just gotta- we just gotta mop up now. That guy's going to the water. Oh, yeah! Dude, we might survive- yes! We survived to the bonus round! I got our balloon back! That went perfectly! Doop! Doo doo doo! -doo. All right, this is going really well, actually. All right. Oop. Um. I originally said the neutral B was summoning a thundercloud. Oh, I don't like that idea anymore. What he could do too, you know, there was a Game Boy sequel called Balloon Kid, where the character in that game had a pea shooter. Maybe he could have a pea shooter. All right, well, that was fast. It'd be nice to give him a projectile of some sort. Well, there we go, pea shooter. But not every character needs a projectile. Little Mac doesn't have one. He kicks ass. Jigglypuff doesn't have one. Balloon Fighter would just be a new, you know, Master of the Skies. Or, or like, maybe... Um, what happened, Rosie? Rosie? You okay? Did you drop something? Did, did you run into something? No, I jumped did you, onto something. You jumped onto something? What did you do? You jumped- why did you jump onto the bed? I didn't jump that Didn't far. you read the story about the monkeys that all broke their heads? I just broke the bed. You broke the bed? I don't think I broke it. That's it's your just, third I time breaking it. I think- And I, I have to fix it each time. Sorry. Alright, well, we'll- we'll fix the bed before we go to bed tonight or something. I wanna take a nap. You wanna take a nap? Okay, then you fix it. I'm not gonna pause the stream to fix the bed you broke. You could fix it this time. One of Rosie's specialties is breaking things. Yeah. What? I'm not strong enough. I can't lift the bed. You're not strong enough to lift the bed? I'm not strong enough to... Well, I can lift it. It's just lifting it and putting the thing back underneath it. Okay, well, you can use the futon for now. 
sleeping bag. We don't have one of those. We don't have a sleeping bag? What about- okay, we have the guest bedroom with the air mattress. Who's that? I don't have a Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'll just sleep on the broken bed. Do you want me to pause the stream and, and go fix the bed? No. Okay. If you're sure. Because I, I'll, I'll do it if you really need me to. If the bed's just at a weird incline is all I can sleep on, it's no big deal. Okay, if you're sure. Pizza, what controller are you using? I am using a gamepad. That is what I use for pretty much everything, because I would love to use a Wii U Pro controller, but they're really expensive, and I just can never have an opportunity where it's like, oh yeah, I have 50 extra bucks to buy a controller with. It just doesn't happen. Um, and I don't know, I think, you, can't you use, like, Wii remotes too if you wanted to? Oh, shoot, I thought that was the guy that was already beaten. Oops, my bad. Um, I don't know, I just always like using the gamepad, because then I can... I don't know, plug my headphones into it, and I don't have to wear my glasses to see the TV, because I'm nearsighted. Um, so, I just always use the gamepad. Ah, shoot! I want to do one more run of this. One more run still of this. What if they add the golfer instead? That'd be kind of... Well, because the golfer is, is Mario. So, wait, we already have it, plus... He'd be in the outfit that's like his, oh, as people call it, like the American-themed one with the red and white stripes. It's actually his NES Open Golf Tournament uh, outfit. Because, yeah, no, the one that we're playing, the one that uh, Iwata did, was the um, Nintendo World Golf. It's not like the original NES Golf. It's the one where you actually are playing as Marty. That's the one we're doing today. But if they did just have the original NES Golfer as a new character in Smash Brothers, you know what? I'd honestly be okay with that, because there are a lot of Nintendo Golf games. I feel like that's a fair representation of characters. It's like if they finally ever decided to add Lip from pa from Puzzle to Pawn, which is like, oh, there's so many Nintendo Puzzle games in this style. Why don't they have Lip to, you know, kind of show that off and, you know, with the elements of that game? You know, they have a few things, like how Kirby can turn into a garbage block from Panel to Pawn, but it's like, well, why don't we just have Lip playable from Panel to Pawn? But we don't. There's a lot of people who actually really want to see Lip from Panel to Pond for those reasons. And, you know, I, I would ride on that bandwagon if it became a, a big enough idea. There, it's just still kind of like a niche thing, and I don't care about it enough on a personal level. I'm just like, I don't really care if we get, like, the arbitrary, oh, this is the Nintendo puzzle game character. This is the Nintendo golf character that we need in Smash Brothers. It's just like how I wouldn't want to see a token Nintendo dog playable in Smash Brothers, because I just, I don't think that looks good. It's like, oh, yeah, let's beat up a realistic puppy. But I've seen people who have advocated for that. It's like, oh, yeah, we should have a Nintendo dog playable because Nintendogs is such a big Nintendo series. Like, well, that's the case, maybe, but no one wants to fight as a realistic dog. I don't anyway. I think the Duck Hunt dog was cool, but I would not want to play as a Nintendog in Smash Brothers. It would be uh, very violent. It'd give PETA something much new uh, and better to be angry about. I personally use the Wii Classic Controller Pro. Those are pretty good. I mean, I like the Wii, like... Pro controllers and stuff, or the Classic Controller Pro, they're just too expensive for me to buy right now. Or I wish the Smash Brothers GameCube adapter was more, uh, you know, uh, what's the right word I'm looking for? Compatible with things. I'd use that more, but it's not. I think this might be the most people I've ever had on a stream, even more than that Splatoon one. This is awesome. Tetromino for Smash? Of course. It's gotta be L block. L block's the most popular. That's the one people want. The one people want to play is L block. Doesn't Dr. Mario basically represent the puzzle games? Yeah, I guess you're right. If you want to go that far, in my mind, Dr. Mario just represents Mario as a doctor. I mean, if he had his own moves that were puzzle game-like, that'd be pretty cool, but, I mean, he's just Mario who throws pills instead of fireballs. It's not like, it's not like he's showing off elements of the puzzle games. Like, if Lip was playable, I'd want to see her, you know, like, drop garbage blocks on people, or, like, I don't know, push things around and stuff. It's like, Do Dr. Mario doesn't have any puzzle game elements in his fighting style. He just throws pills. Oh, hey there, Waddle T. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? About people who think, who think, uh, uh, Nintendog's a good idea, huh?
Da -da -da -da. Ah! Lightning! Da -da 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 Come on. Ah. The whole what uh, I thought the whole point of Dr. Mario was throwing pills. No, because it's, it's like you're matching them up. Like, what if instead of like throwing them like the fireballs, he threw like giant pills, like the ones from Dr. Mario, and they just kind of fell down, and you had to like connect the colors and you get different effects. Like, I don't know, you throw the blue pills and it like it chills the opponents, they freeze, or if it's the fever one that makes a fiery effect, the yellow one is the weird pill, so it like makes them get dizzy or freak out or do something really weird or like, if you, uh... I don't know, what other puzzle elements could you incorporate from Dr. Mario? Um... I don't know. They should have at least done that with the pills, though. Like, blue one's chill, red one's fever, and yellow one's weird. That would've been cool. Or would that be a contradiction because the, the pills cure those things? Eh, whatever. Still a better idea. We need my original Pokemon fan character in Smash Brothers. You know, those are the best. What was it? Gosh, someone... I saw... My little brother was watching a video. He showed it to me. Because I said... I actually... I visited my uh, hometown this last weekend to visit my friends and family and stuff. Um, my little brother was showing me... Uh, this guy was like, oh, the seventh gen Pokemon leaked, and it, it was like all these Pokemon from like a well-known fan game. It's just like, dude, who are you trying to fool? <laughs> Well, obviously, my, my little brother is in elementary school. They get implement Miracle Cure? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. How did I forget about that? Viruses, yeah. I guess there's stuff like that that you could use with Dr. Mario. Dun. Da da da. Ba 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 ba. Come on. Come on, come here, you. Ah, ah, the lightning! Whoa, that was really close. I thought we were dead right there. Holy shit. Ugh. Ah, yeah! Also, my Wii U pad was smashed yesterday. Oh, shucks. I hate when that happens. I actually, um... Oh, no. Um, we're gonna do one more of this. <laughs> You see, this this is always a trick my dad taught me. If you say one more, you can keep doing it as much as much as much as you want. You know, it's not final until you say one last time. This probably will be the last time I do this mode, though, and then we're gonna do some balloon trip. But I don't know. Um, but no. Um, a while ago, my Wii U pa gamepad. Um, it didn't get smashed, the, just the touchscreen got, like, indented, and, like, I couldn't use the touchscreen anymore. And, like, apparently, like, on that first menu on the Wii U screen, I tried everything. It wouldn't let me navigate it without the touchpad, so was the gamepad. I was like, uh, so I can't do anything. I can't use my Wii U at all. Um, and so for a while there, I, I was only doing, like, games I could play on my Wii and my Xbox for LPs until I could get that fixed. And it took me a while before I was able to get it fixed. So it's it's nice have not having that restriction anymore. Bam. Er. Come on. Er, er, da. I gotta go for a little bit. I'll be back in 15 minutes. All right. Come up with a move set for Balloon Fighter. Oh, came up with a move set for Balloon Fighter. Okay, I'll read it in just a sec. So actually, um, right now I'm still editing both Mass Effect and Pokemon XD videos, but um, some of you already know I'm planning on reducing the amount of videos I do to being one LP a day, and then I'm gonna use my extra time to just do other types of videos. So. Um, Right now, um, this by the end of this week, I'm going to be done editing um, the Pokemon XD videos I'm doing right now before I take a break from Pokemon XD to just finish uh, Mass Effect. Um, but I've already started working on some of the other videos that I want to do, and I have one video series I've thought about doing for a long time, 
um, that I'm actually going to finally do. I have been super duper pumped for the new Fire Emblem game. I honestly, I've been looking at as much information as I can and finding out the characters and stuff without spoiling myself on the plot lines because I still want to be surprised by what happens in the story, but I want to know as much as I can right now, like about classes and characters because I just liked Fire Emblem Awakening so, so much that I'm so um, absolutely hyped for this new Fire Emblem game. Um, so, um, one video thing I want to do for a while, I've played so much Fire Emblem Awakening, I've actually seen every support conversation in the game. So what I wanted to do, which is what I'm going to start doing and what I've already worked on, is I'm going to do a series of videos that is my top five S support conversations for every character. And it, those will all be their own videos. Like, oh, here's my top five S supports for the male avatar. Here's my top five S supports for Gregor. Here's my top five S supports for Pan. Here's my top five S supports for Donald. So that's going to be um, probably my first new video series I do once I'm only doing one LP a day. So, hey, this, those of you who are uh, watching the stream right now, you uh, got a spoiler, I guess, of what I'm going to be doing soon. That is the plan. Dun, 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 dun. I would have loved to have done a uh, Fire Emblem Awakening playthrough on the channel or on stream, but I don't have a 3DS capture card. Once again, that's something that costs several hundred dollars that I just don't have the money for. Pizza, don't lie to yourself. Felicia is waifu. Are we talking about, like, the maid from the new Fire Emblem game? I'm actually, I'm actually, my, my waifu in the new Fire Emblem game, by right now, from what I've seen, is going to be Rinka. I've gone through a lot of different changes, like, I like this person, or maybe this one. My waifu right now, as, as of right now... My wife is going to be Rinka. How can you just... How can you deny those abs? They are just so spectacular. There's a Tharja? I know. No, I pretty much know a lot of the stuff about Awakening. I know Tharja's in it. Cordelia's in it too, and so is Gaius, and so is Owen, and so is Inigo, and so is, uh... Uh, uh, Severa. And if I just spoiled anything for you, I am so, so sorry. And I should have said something first about... I was gonna say spoilers. Oops! Um. Oh crap, that guy on the other side got me, I didn't even see him. Come on, er, er, okay. Do you remember when you wanted to change Donkey Kong's whole move set? The reason, yes I do, and the reason that I wanted to change Donkey Kong's whole move set, I don't know, I was a really big fan. I think it kind of stemmed from the Ganondorf stuff. I was a really big fan of, uh, I lied guys, I'm going to do one more of these. I was a really big fan of um, making the characters more like how they were in the actual um, you know, games that they did. And, you know, the Donkey Kong Spinning Kong and Giant Punch were one thing, but when has he ever head-butted opponents in a Donkey Kong game? I'm like, this only exists in Smash Brothers, and there's no lack of Donkey Kong moves. You could have his Somersault, or you could have his, uh... Uh, coconut gun. So, yeah, there were lots of things I wanted to change about Donkey Kong. It's like, I want Donkey Kong to do the things he does in Donkey Kong games. For the most part, I don't care as much anymore, because it's like, it's still an original idea, and it still fits the character. Although, if anything, the headbutt still, I don't like that much. Um, but Ganondorf still bothers me quite a bit. I'm less, I'm more quiet about it now, because at this point, there are a lot of people who like Ganondorf as he is, because it's, it's so traditional now, they don't want their Ganondorf to change. But, um, at the same time, it's like, why is Ganondorf Captain Falcon? He's still Captain Falcon. He's a very different Captain Falcon, but he's still Fa Captain Falcon. Why? <laughs> because it's a tra tradition now. That is it. Ca one thing that I actually have always, um, thought about is if they did add, you know, a separate Ganon character, like Link to the Past style Ganon, who could use the more, you know, Ganon attacks. And then we could have our Ganondorf that's Captain Falcon and our Ganon who's a Legend of Zelda villain. Uh, 
Bum ba 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 Um Bam. Come on. How long have we been streaming this game? I mean, we're coming up to an hour, but really I did it longer for that because we had the glitch out scream that doesn't count. Um, ultimately, in my main run of Fire Emblem Awakening, uh, the waifu I wound up having was Cordelia. A part of me doesn't like that because it seems so mainstream, but whatever. I can't worry about stuff like that. I just gotta pick what I'm gonna pick. Yeah. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. But we need Vadi. Vadi is a, such an unimportant Legend of Zelda character. <laughs> He's not a bad character. Uh, ba ba ba. I got Crom. Uh, if we got a new Legend of Zelda character, I think it'd be Impa. I'm actually still pretty hopeful for Tetra's always been my most wanted Legend of Zelda newcomer for Smash Brothers. And so I'm a, I'm a little more hopeful for that with the uh, new stuff from Hyrule Warriors. I don't know if it's actually going to happen. In fact, I would get I would I would still think not. I don't think Tetra's going to have the popularity to push her into playable Smash Brothers territory if the rest of the Smash Brothers characters we're getting are just, you know, um are just, you know, uh Smash Ballot candy. But if we do get a new Zelda character, my vote's still to Tetra. I like that idea way too much. Ah, uh, crud! Oh, what was I thinking? Ah! Oh. Can we settle with Demise? Eh... I don't know. Demise would be pretty cool, I guess. I don't know, Demise didn't have a really big impact on me, just, I mean, he was uh, a great villain, but, I mean, he's not around for long, he's just like, oh, yeah, final boss, Demise. Which is not bad, it's just, I don't know. Even though I do like him more than Girahim, Girahim actually left a bigger impact on me. What would you call a Fire Emblem character if he was a superhero? Robin? <laughs> So many iterations of the same characters, yeah, I know. But really, I mean, this is my belief anyway. You know, you have Link, Zelda, and Ganondorf, and honestly, that's that's the main lineup. You know, I guess it's kind of like Mario Peach Bowser, but I mean, then you get to the Mario series, it has things like Luigi or Bowser Jr. that Legend of Zelda really doesn't have equivalents to. They have things that come close, like... Uh, Impa, or Vadi, or Tingle, but they're not on that same level. Legend of Zelda's got Link, Zelda, Ganondorf, and then, you know, different iterations of them that are the new other important characters. Like Tetra, or Ganon. And Toon Link. Honestly, I think the choices that they have right now are all fitting. I wouldn't remove any of them. I wouldn't, some people are like, oh, get rid of Toon Link, he's unnecessary. I disagree. He's enough of his own character with enough of his own games. Technically, doesn't the imprisoned count? I guess, but the imprisoned's just so silly. <laughs> the imprisoned is probably the single Legend of Zelda villain that makes me laugh the most. It's just, you see this big intimidating worm thing, you're like, oh my gosh, what is it gonna be like? And then it has its two little chicken feet. It's hilarious. I'm so happy with it. I do like the imprisoned quite a bit just because of that. Bum, 
Man, I, I didn't remember how much of an addicting game Balloon Fighter was. I don't feel like I ever want to stop playing it. Bum, bum, bum. Yay! We got them all. I truly think Tingle needs to be playable in the next Smash Brothers game. I I can agree with that sentiment. I don't necessarily agree with the choice because I do like Tetra more and I like my Ganon idea, but I agree with the with the notion that Tingle is important enough of a character. I mean, if it wasn't enough that he is one of the few recurring Zelda characters with, like, a lot of roles in the series, uh, he also has his own line of games. That's pretty significant. He has more than enough powers. We need Classic Link, Young Link, and Skyward Link. Oh, dear lord. It was enough when people wanted Classic Link in addition to Link and Toon. Like, I'm like, are you serious? I mean, honestly, I wouldn't mind because, like, maybe they could make a side be the Pegasus, the Pegasus, Pegasus, I can't say that, Pegasus boots, and I would really love that. But, even though I wouldn't mind, it, it, that, it, I don't know, it starts to seem like oversaturation. As it is, you know, with them adding Roy and Mewtwo and stuff, it's like, what if they do decide to add Young Link? That'd be really funny. Um, Yeah. Oh, don't forget, we also need, like, Majora Mask Link, and we need... Did someone really say Skyward Scored Link at some point? That's funny. Imprisoned should be Demise's final smash? That doesn't make sense. And the Imprisoned was, like, his, um, you know, his his weaker form. Why would it become his weaker, weaker form for his final smash? I do want to see Young Link and Pichu come back with revamped movesets. If they even if they do come back, they're not going to have revamped movesets, you know? I mean, they might have some new ideas like Roy did, but it's not going to be like super duper big differences. It's not like they're going to have four entirely new moves. They would have done that with Ganondorf a long time ago if that were the case. In any case, I think it's time to move on to Balloon Trip. I've had a lot of fun with Balloon Fight and I could probably keep going, but I want to keep going. So, uh... Balloon Trip, my gosh. I never played Balloon Trip as much when I was a kid because I liked the, the regular mode so much. So do I have to get all the balloons or can I like miss some? If I miss too many, do, do, do I lose? Uh, do I just have to not get hit by the light? Oh my god! Huh. Wow. Well, that was harsh. Let's try it again. Bum, 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 bum. This is probably the most well-known Balloon Fighter song. It's the only one that's really like a continuous song. But since I like, I played the you know the more arcade one so much. I really love that they have the the remix of it in um in the Smash Brothers is one of the songs. They have that you know like it's so well done that Balloon Fighter medley. Oh oh oh! I went too fast. If I I'm not gonna do nearly as well with this. As I did with the arcade, because I said, this I don't even have, like, like childhood practice with. This is, like, me trying this. I did beat this uh, game on, like, Nintendo Land, the new version that they did with that, but, you know, it's still, I mean, it's not as much, like, muscle memory or something. I don't know. I, don't, I just don't have as much practice with this. I'll leave it at that. Uh, uh. Uh, I can't get that balloon. There's too much stuff. Mmm. Come on, there we go. Ah, oh, shoot. Damn. Why is Ganondorf's final smash an actual weaker form? It's not. Ganon, Ganon's its stronger form, isn't it? I mean, I don't know about Twilight Princess in, in, in specifically, but like in Ocarina of Time, after you beat Ganondorf, he became Ganon. Ganon's like the giant, demonic, pure evil form. I thought that was the stronger one. I don't know, because I know in Twilight Princess, you fight Ganon and then you fight Ganondorf, but I'm pretty sure Ganon's still technically the stronger form. Fun to know the balloon trip music is actually a tribute to a reggae group. Really? Huh. I didn't know that. It is kind of reggae-ish. It's hard to always tell that kind of stuff with the instrumenta without instrumentation. 
Ah, that was awful. Let's try again. Bump it up. Da -da 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 -da. Oh my god. Oh! I didn't realize the fish could appear. Whoa! That was really scary. Alright, I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. You just have to not hesitate. It's like driving. If you hesitate, you're dead. You just have to kind of go for it and dodge other cars as they come onto you because you went onto the wrong side of a one-lane road and now you have to dodge. Well, I mean, what? Yep. But, see, I don't know how many of these balloons I can miss, or do I... Is this the end? Uh, what, did it stop because I didn't get enough balloons? What was that? Bum, ba, ba, da, 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 da. I can't get those ones. I got half of them, I think. No. Uh. Whoa. Okay, there's no balloons even anymore. I'm just dodging lightning. Yep. Okay. Okay. Doing all right. Yep. Okay. What's the point of me even having two balloons? These things kill me automatically. Oh, I lost. Oh, I didn't make it. <sighs> Come on. I'm actually not a very good driver at all. Driving is one of my least favorite things to do that I have to do on a regular day-to-day -day basis. I get so... I mean, I can't afford to be nervous when you're driving because, like I said, you really can't hesitate. You gotta always pay attention and stuff. But I just, I just hate it. I just get really grumpy when I'm driving. I don't like driving at all. And then additionally, I'm just not very good at it. I'm always like, I'm too wobbly on the road. I've been stopped by police cars twice because they think I'm drunk just because I'm a little, I, I just overcorrect too much or I, uh, I like, I, I'm staying in my lane, but I kind of like curve around the, what, the lane I'm inside of where I'm just like, eh, 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 I'm still inside the lane, I'm staying inside the lane. But they, they're like, they, I'm wobbly, so they're like, they think I'm drunk. It's like, no, I'm not drunk. I don't even drink alcohol that much at all. I'm just a bad driver. Uh. So, I mean, I've been doing a lot of freeway driving recently because we've been visiting my hometown, which is a good three, four hour drive on, on several weekends. And so it's just like, um, to, uh, you know, I just try to stay out of other people's way. I'll just, I'll just like stay in like the middle or the left lane to like be like, okay, there's no one else around. And you know, in the left lane, people want to, you know, speed up and go way above the speed limit, like 15 or 20 miles above the speed limit. So then I'm just like, okay, well, if someone comes, then I will, you know, um, sw change lanes, let them by, then go back. So that I just, I don't, I'm not around other people because I know I'm a bad driver and I, I don't want to, you know, be a problem to other people. <laughs> Uh. Oh, well, we got a bunch of new uh, questions here. Let's see here. Um, We need Gangrel as a new Smash character. You know what? I actually wound up liking Gangrel quite a bit. As far as villains go, he was pretty basic. He was just kind of your evil king. I mean, if you do more like stuff with him, you find out that, you know, what his motivations were and why he did what he did. And he's not that bad. He's just fucking insane. Um, But... I don't know, something about that and just the way he acted and the things that he said, I wound up liking him as a character. Um, 
Uh, ba ba ba. Quick question: Do you keep up with Hammer Space at all? Uh, I'm not good at. Honestly, I'm not good at keeping up with anybody else's doing, even the pe my favorite people to watch and subscribe to. So, uh, honestly, no, I am not keeping up with Heimer Space very well at all. Uh, I do know that you've done some, you know, guides on how to be a pro at certain characters in Smash Brothers. I know you did a King Dedede one, and I know you were working on a Little Mac one. That's as much as I as I as I know as far as that goes. Grass Pokemon representation would be cool, and you know what? Sceptile is my favorite Pokemon of all time, and that's like the one people usually talk about when they say having Grass Pokemon representation, so that makes me pretty happy. Ah, fish. Gangirl's Final Smash is watching Smash characters fall off a cliff. Um, see, I know you're making jokes, but now I'm trying to think of what I would actually pick as Gangirl's Final Smash. I'm assuming Levin Sword Lightning would be like his B move, then his final smash, um, oh, I know. It's having a buzz bunch of risen archers appear, and what they do is instead of, like, shooting arrows everywhere, they pick one specific target and all simultaneously start rapidly shooting arrows at that one target. Other people can get in the way of the arrows, but they, like, focus on one person. So there we go. That's, that's my, that's my Gangrel final smash. And the name of it is Eeny Meeny Mo. Eeny Meeny Mo. The Little Mac is out. Okay, I haven't seen it yet. Da da da, ba da ba da 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 ba da da. So, for those of you who don't know, uh, Hammer Space is a collaborative group made up of people I know, um, such as. Uh, Lord Jackal, so, uh, you could go check out Hammer Space, be pretty cool, go support those guys. Also, if you look up Hammer Space, there's like three different groups with that name, so be sure it's the one with Lord Jackal in it. Hot Feet, if you want to post a link to, to Hammer Space, you can do that. I hereby grant you permission. Oh, man. Maybe Gangrel's Final Smash could be a Versa joining in? No, because then... See, I don't like already that Robins has Crom joining in. Because now... Now we have the Smash Ballot and people can't vote. Uh, no one can vote for Crom. Because it's like, oh, Crom already has a role in the game. It's like, yeah, but... I, what if I really want Crom in Smash Brothers? What if I hate the fact that Robin and Lucina are both playable in Smash Brothers, and yet the third of the trio, who arguably is the leader of the three, is not playable? That bugs me a lot. It's kind of like when they had Zero and Tron Bone in Marvel vs. Capcom, but they don't have Mega Man. It's like, seriously? Zero and Tron Bone are great, but where's Mega Man? Where's Crom? We, 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 we seriously, we have Robin and Lucina, but not Crom? Um, so I don't, I don't like that. I don't like when characters use attacks that use other characters. Because then it's like, well now, they can't become playable yet. Uh, main side or YouTube channel? Uh, both. Do both. So if you're on the chat right now, Hotfeet's gonna post the links to Hammer Space in case you want to go support those guys. They do lots of video game stuff. I would love Septile moveset to be fast and little projectiles. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Like a samurai variant of Greninja. I guess he's pretty samurai though, huh? I still want Takamaru in Smash Brothers. I'm not going to forget that he was almost playable until it was decided he wasn't well known enough, which is total bullshit. Not necessarily that it's untrue that he's not very well known, but that it's bullshit that that's a legitimate reason as to why you exclude a character. If you play the bonus map, there's a mission where Gangrel is, is super sad for some reason. That's the, uh, hot spring scramble.
For the next match, change Krom into Morgan and make Krom and Lucina palette swaps of each other. I don't know about palette. I mean, I guess what you could do is, you know how Lucina's a clone of Marth, you could take up the old joke that Veridi made and and turn Krom into a clone of Ike. I mean, hey, we got three Marths. What's wrong with having two Ikes? But no, I do like the idea of, of Robin's Final Smash being a pair-up system. I just, I, I think they could have picked a less prominent character that, than Krom. I do like that idea you have of, of, of it being Morgan instead. Yeah, that works pretty well. Or how about they get the other Robin, like the one that's the, the other gender. So if you're playing as female Robin, male Robin joins you. And if you're playing as female Robin, male Robin joins you. Did I just say the same thing twice? I don't care. You get, you get what I mean. Go with what I mean, not what I say. Guys, I am really sucking at Balloon Trip here. I am awful at this. I'm only going to try this a few more times, and then we're going to move on to Golf. Bump. Ba -da. Da -da 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 with golf too, it'll be easier to, to talk in chat. I'll be able to look up at the chat more. Yep. Yep. Oop. Uh, I guess I'm stuck here. I don't. I still don't understand why it does that. Is it just like, oh, you're going to the next stage? Because I, I don't see. I don't remember that before. Where there's like three balloons all right next to each other. Just ripe for the picking. Oh! Uh, what happened? They, they turned orange! Wow, I must really suck if I've never seen this before. <laughs> Where it's like, oh! Because I didn't know, even know that would happen. Oh! They give me a rank? Wait, what? I don't get it. Because it says rank 50, but it like goes down every time I get a balloon. Was I down to only three left or something? I don't know. I don't get it. I just don't get it. No, because my rank isn't going down when I get balloons. I thought that's what it was doing. Oh. Hmm. Oh, shoot. Up. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Oh! Ah. Uh. Pizza, what do you think about Rundus in Smash? I don't think he's important enough of a character. That's what I think. I think if they're going to have a second Metroid character, it really ought to be Ridley. And if they're not going to go with Ridley, then the most sensical choices after Ridley would be Dark Samus or Silex. Those are my thoughts. Now, what, what about Rundus himself? I mean, he's a cool character... And if I recall, he's mostly ice-based, so it'd be nice to have another ice character since we don't have ice climbers anymore. So those are good points. But just for me, as a, as a Metroid character, just run to seem so less significant to me. Um, oh boy, whoa. Okay, I'm just reading all these comments now. Whoa, 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 I missed a lot of comments. Wow. Hey, if I, if I, if I missed something you really want me to respond to, then uh, just uh, say it again, because I'm, I'm losing track of the chat, which is awesome. Usually, my chats are like, we don't have much to talk about. This time, though, just this and the last one have been really active, which has been so, so fun. Will we ever get a Metroid character in Smash? Honestly, I don't think we're ever going to get another Metroid character in Smash unless somebody decides... Either, either somebody decides Ridley's okay, or we get a new Metroid game that has a clear secondary character other than Ridley that's amazing, or... 
if we have a new Metroid game where Ridley is smaller. Yeah, something like that. Because right now, Metroid really doesn't have any second char secondary characters besides Ridley that make a ton of sense. The closest things are Dark Samus and Silex, which are really pushing it. Especially Silex. There's so many people who are like, oh, Silex is perfect. I'm like, really? Because he was only in one game, and his ship had a cameo in another. Uh... Does anyone know who the new Nintendo CEO is? That has not been decided yet. Um, I mean, I just don't think it's at the forefront of their minds right now. It's, it is a decision they're going to have to make, and soon. Um, if my understanding is correct, the people directly below Iwata would be um, uh, uh, Genyo Takeda and Shigeru Miyamoto. Which, between those two, you know, Miyamoto is much more of a, a developer, while Takedo is more of, a, you know, the business type of person that Iwata, you know, that would fill in that kind of role. That's just my very rough understanding. So, my, if I had to take a guess right now, I would say Genyo Takeda, but that's just a guess. They might go through a more formal process, I don't know. Okay, why? What am I? What's going on? There's aren't any even balloons here. Does it just do that? Is this is that rank two? When it like does that, even though the balloons don't change color. Oh god, I'm stuck. I'm gonna die. Ah. Uh. Ba 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 ba. I'm gonna do three more balloon trip attempts. This counts as number one. Okay, that, that was number one. I did not suicide, I just, I suck. <laughs> Alright, here's number two. After these three attempts, we're moving on to golf. Ba 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 da. Whoa. Ah, shoot. You get freeze when you pop a bubble? Oh, really? Oh, I didn't get that at all. I thought they were still just bonus points, like in the main mode. Oh. That makes so much sense. Thank you. I had no clue. But it gives me more ideas for what balloon fighters' fight, uh, moves could be if he was in Super Smash Brothers. Oh, hey, we're getting pretty lucky here. Ah, crap. I forgot if that was my third attempt or my second attempt, so I'm just going to do one last one. See, I said, I said last this time, not one more. One last. I think that was my third attempt, but hey, we're already in here now. Come on. Erp, erp. Come on. Uh, so if I grab the bubble, it'll freeze. Oh. How did I never figure that out? Ah, crap. That's... Oh, God! Whoa! I got electrocuted and then eaten by a fish? Wow. Alrighty. So that's going to be it for uh, Balloon Fight. Uh, thank you very much, Satoru Iwata, for making such a uh, fun and addictive, timeless classic. I mean, seriously, this is the type of game that people get really excited about on, like, mobile devices. Maybe Nintendo will make use of that, you know, when they start doing mobile stuff. Because this game seems like a really great fit for that kind of thing. You just, you know, you get on your mobile devices, like, I'm going to play something quick. I'll play some Balloon Fight. 
Um, so I hope they do more at this game in the future, finally. Maybe even add the Balloon Fighter as a playable character in Smash Brothers. Um, thank all of you uh, for watching this. And um, I'm just going to take uh, a little bit of time here to switch on over to uh, NES Golf. And uh, by that I mean, uh, what is it, NES Open Tournament Golf? That one.